G'day! Pathos Aries coming in yet again with another incredible video. Now, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about these two wonderful pieces of art. <coughs> okay, if I could have my lovely camera lady come a bit closer. Okay, let's start off with this one. This is a War Sword by Paul Chen at CAS Henway. Um, it's pretty good. It's definitely one of the better pieces I've had. And these are my first two um, hand and a half swords I've ever had. And I'm quite pleased with them. I like them very much. <laughs> quite incredible. Um, they're both made out of 5160 uh, carbon steel. They both came factory sh sharpened. And they're both good pieces. Now this one here, I like it quite a bit. They're both peened at the pommel, as you can see. I like this one. I like the way it uh, handles quite nicely. Um, I mean, it's weighs uh, 2.12 pounds. And, oh no, sorry. <laughs> 2 pounds, 12 ounces, I meant to say. Um, it's very nice. Um, it feels right. The balance is actually quite nice. I've been doing some research into historical swords, and as far as the balance goes, I mean, it, it's fairly accurate. I mean, I can't remember the specifics, but I believe it's 3 inches or 4 inches by the looks of it from the hilt. So fairly historical. It's weight as well. It's uh, 40 inches from tip to pommel. Um, I like it very much because it's light enough. You can use it fairly comfortable in one hand. But then again you got that extra bit there for some extra speed or power. Now this one out of the two is a bit more cheaply made. I can just feel it. Um, I do love this piece very much. Well, I shouldn't say love. I like it quite a bit. Um, only thing is, just by getting a close inspection at it, you can tell it's just a few flaws in it. Like, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there's like a ridge there. It's not perfectly fitted on the leather. The peen is a little bit rough, and it's not a large peen like I've seen on other pieces. You can tell this piece is a little bit cheapy. I mean, the blade is good nice and steel but it just feels cheap like when I swing it fast there's something rattling around in here I don't really care for that but I mean it's all fairly sturdy it's just a bit of a rattle when you use it I mean, it's not really a rattle it's more of a feeling but yeah I can just tell this is the cheaper of the two okay and now having a look at this bad boy here. This is my new tank. <laughs> this is a, um, what is this one? Uh, this is a Teutonic Knight Crusader Sword by Legacy Arms, or second generation, or generation two, I think it is, sorry. Anyway, Legacy Arms, their newer name. Um, this one, I mean, you can just tell by looking at it closely. Um, it's just the better of the two. Uh, yeah, the, the, sh the sharpening job I like a lot more on this one. You can tell it's got a fuller about, I don't know, what is that, about a quarter of the way, a thir two thirds of the way? Yeah, it's fuller, right? Very nice. It looks nice. This, you can tell it's sturdy and it's longer too, which I like. And you can also tell it's made out of a better metal. Like, I think that one might be aluminum, but I'm not 100% sure for the, the guard. I mean, um, a nice 
uh, I don't know what you call it, uh, Iron Cross, I guess you'd call it nowadays, or Teutonic Cross, I guess. Very nice. Um, uh, I might want to say this piece, the War Sword, I paid, uh, what was it? It was $210 for that one. And it was, I got $80 off. And this one was $290, I think. I got them all from uh, Paul Chan Henway Swords website there. Now, this one is 43 inches long. It weighs in at a whopping three and a half pounds, which is quite heavy. You can tell the peen there, it's much more secure. Like, it would take a lot to wreck this piece. And it's heavy, it's a lot more sturdy. I mean, you can see why this is my tank. I mean, it's a lot way heavier. Um, but I do like them both. The only thing is, though, I must warn you, this is the first time I've ever purchased swords from, from the U.S., and wow, I'm going to try my very best not to do that again. Okay. <sighs> Ridiculous. Because you pay for the shipping and everything, which came to, I think, $530. And then when I went to pick up my parcel, they slapped me with a $130 uh, payment on delivery charge, which is just ridiculous. Okay. That's it. Oh, um, yeah, if somebody out there can give me feedback on Albion Swords, I'm kind of debating whether or not I should get one. I'm thinking, right now, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to go one-handed or hand in a half. My choices are either the Sovereign by Albion, or for hand and a half, the Count. I like the Count because it's the best of both worlds. It's, a little, you know, it's lighter than this one, but heavier than this one. Its balance point is right in between the two swords. And of course the quality would be no issue because it's LB on to be the top quality. Okay. Let me go. Thanks for the input guys. Pathless series out.